hits the bar again. The football we are playing. We look like prime Guardiola Barcelona right now. This is just beyond belief. What's up guys? Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with more FC at Norgeland. And I must say, I was a bit worried after we saw Kian Hansen, but Max Waledzi has more than stepped into his role so far this season. Look at his average rating. We have some Champions League group stage action today for the first time. But first, let's take a look at how we've got on in the league. So we started off away to Randers. Only two games off camera this time. And they, uh, I mean, a very nice goal by Vistgarden right there. Really, really nice goal. Uh, nicked it from our player, dribbled all the way through. But then we had Emiliano. I think it's Marcondes. Um, you guys corrected me in the comments Playing it into Isaac Tanga. Um, we were 1-0 down at half-time. A bit worrying right there. We did get that goal there, though. And then Emiliano in behind, up front again. Lovely tucked finish into the bottom left corner. And we turned things around pretty nicely before we added another at the very end. Again, over the top. Rastic to Emiliano, new signing to new signing, a nice 3-1 win away from home. Next up, we were home to Vile, and you can see Dion um, he has been injured a lot this season, slowly coming back into the team a little bit. It's quite hard to get him some playing time, to be honest with you, getting a goal there. And then a lovely pass from Olivia Riman to uh, Tochi Chukwuani with a lovely run, lovely finish as well. Um, and we really piled it on here. Eamon tackled, but Andreas Bredal scoring right there to make it 3-0. And this was very promising. Only a few days ago from the current game date, I really tried to rotate a little bit, rest up our key players. Um, and you can see we added another Riman playing really well. As of late, getting the goals make it 4-0. Then Eamon nicks the ball back. Chukwani dribbles forwards into Andreas Bredal again. And a lovely finish. 5-0 and a great win. So we have recovered from our opening day loss. Just about to stay top of the league. A goal difference of 16 after 7 games. Yeah, I'm really happy with how we're playing. But today we have RB Salzburg. Our first game in the Champions League group stages. As manager of Norgeland, of course. We then bring Real Madrid to the Right to Dream Park. I, I, I cannot wait for that game. We have them both coming up in today's episode. In other news, we did make one more signing before the transfer window ended. Eric Carl, who's just turned 19 years old, and he's a really talented left back from Sweden. We did pay for him, to be fair. Um, upwards of two million, two and a half million pounds from AIK, one of the best Swedish clubs. But I felt at his age, his attributes look really good, really well-rounded going forward as well. I feel like he is an upgrade on Svensson. And left-back is one of the areas, really, where we have struggled a little bit more. If we take a look um, at the graph versus Svensson, you can see Carl probably better in most areas as well. So, uh, yeah, I felt like an upgrade overall on Svensson was required, and I think we've done it here. So, kicking off our first Champions League group stage tie up against Salzburg in Austria. You can see our lineup pretty familiar now. Carl will start at left-back. Other than that, it's pretty familiar Marcondes or Emiliano he'll play in central midfield today with a tanga up front Eamon on the right let's get it here we go then Salzburg come in on great form you can see their lineup here Berisha up front Ongwene I think was at centre back as well our form's great as well let's see how we get on so we pile the pressure on early here Eric Carl into Camaldine great flicked header not back to him by a tanga it's blocked though on this occasion, Kufod plays out lovely ball by Kufod. He is really the heartbeat of this team right now. What can he do here? Back to Maz Tycos. And can he get a ball in even into Jonathan Eamon? Into Emiliano. The shot is blocked though. Great football by us. Really starting the game on a positive note here. Out to Tycos. And can he keep it in? Eamon gets the shot away. <laughs> Let's go. I can hardly believe how we have started this game. Two minutes in, we get the goal versus Salzburg. What a start from the boys here. Cannot believe it. We had numerous chances. Chukwani here. In for the injured Abby Francis. Um, Tycosin pulls it back to Eamon and he smashes it into the near post. 1-0. Let's go. Just a minute later, Kufo gets the ball in. Eamon heads it. A cross goal is cleared here. Now we look a little vulnerable with Majim Barisha on the counter-attack. Uh, great tackle by Tycosin though. So Salzburg are playing around with the ball here. We are really punishing them right now. Emiliano into the box. Can we get the rebound to Tanga? Oh, we cannot quite get the rebounds. Uh, a shot away from the rebound, sorry. Eric Carl, can he deliver? Does so. Not the best ball in the world though. 
Um, and we set it was still 1-0. We are all over Salzburg to start as we pick up the ball again. Eamon, what can we do this time? Emiliano, lovely play, lovely link up. Tycosin bringing it down the right-hand side, skips past his man. Lovely play. Emiliano into Kamaldine, Sulemana, and Isaac Atanga scores on the rebound. I have no idea what is going on here. But five minutes in, we are 2-0 up in Austria. Not the most beautiful goal ever. Tycosin, though, great ball by Emiliano. Kamaldine heads it against the bar and Atanga. It's the easiest goal he'll score all season. I mean, guys, we haven't had a penalty. 10 minutes in, we have an XG of 1.35. They've got a 0.04. I don't know what's going on right now. They do get a corner now, about 20 minutes into proceedings. We do head clear. Well, Edsley was the man as well. And can we counter? Again, look how many uh, look how many people we have rushing forward into Kamaldine. Atanga is in behind and he scores to make it three. I am speechless. I am utterly speechless. 19th minute of the game. We are 3-0 up in Austria. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, look how easy this was for us on the counter. I mean, they have so many players pushed up. Kamalzine into a tanga. He's in right now. Stankovic maybe should have saved it. It's, it's maybe a bit harsh to say that. But if he gets a touch to it, maybe should have saved. But 3-0 Norgeland. This is unreal. Kufod on the ball. Lovely ball into Kamalzine Sulemana. Plays it to Eamon. Knocks it down from our Sondes. Hits the bar again. The football we are playing. We look like prime Guardiola Barcelona right now. This is just beyond belief. 33rd minute now. We're still all over Salzburg. Kufod, Emiliano, Tycosin. Lovely football again. Jonathan Eamon bringing the ball forward now. Really charging at the Salzburg defence. Goes for goal wide of the target though. I think it's fair to say that was the best half of football we have played as manager of Norgeland. 17 shots at half time. Almost an XG of three in our first Champions League group stage game against a fairly difficult team. 50 seconds minute then, we're into the second half here. I'm still in shock. The boys are playing so, so well. I mean, even if we concede, we're still in such a good position, but on the counter, we look so dangerous every time with the Tanga and his pace up top on Gwene gets the tackle, but here is Eamon. Can he play it back across? Goes for goal, it's out for a corner. 10 minutes into the second half, Tycosin wins the header. Eamon over the top to Atanga, headed clear, but I feel just so confident in this game, I must say. But now Koyza is in behind and he does score for Salzburg. Seku Koyza gets the goal. Not a good moment for us, but we still should be okay. 72nd minute, we do get the corner. Diamonde, the substitute, puts the ball in. Headed clear though by Voba. Now Diamonde picks it up. Can he find a ball? Not quite into Atanga this time, has to score. Stankovic does hold. Bit of a weak effort, to be fair. But now, 76th minute. Let's not make this difficult for ourselves. Kamuzin does pick up the ball here. Can we make it 4-1 and put the game to bed for good? Bredow now on up top. Can't quite finish this time. It's not been the best second half from our team. But now we enter the final couple of minutes. We are going to get the win, I believe. Bar a miracle here in Austria. Um, and yeah, just such a good performance. I have put on the gem, Sheldrup, uh, the gem of our youth crop right there. Bredal on the ball, out to Eric Carl in his European debut for the team. Like pretty much everyone today, Atanga heads over the bar. So we are now entering the final 30 seconds of the game. Can we add a fourth in the final moments? Atanga into Emiliano, maybe should have played it into Sheldrup, but we do get the corner. We're going to get the win. Diamonde taking his time over the resulting corner. That should do it right now. There you go. What? A fantastic performance that was. An XG of four away to Salzburg. We get a 3-1 win. This is unreal. No biggie. We've just gone top of a group, including United, Real Madrid and Salzburg. I'll see you for Real Madrid at the Right to Dream Park. So some good news off camera. Isaac Atanga has signed a new deal. Quite the big pay rise. I think he was on one and a half K per week, but it had to be done. Uh, we've now extended him four years. So great to have Atanga on board for a little while. We had two games off camera as well against Silkeborg to start, and they did get the first goal there from that free kick. Frustrating goal to concede, but then a quite comical goal for us, an own goal from Masso. Massive mistake there to make it 1-0, and we did make it 2-1 ahead of halftime. Ibrahim Sadiq with his first of the season, uh, getting a bit of game time, resting Jonathan Eamon a little bit. Oliver Roman, bit of magic as well. Lovely finish to make it 3-1, and that is how the game would end. We then went away to Olberg in what was a very cagey affair indeed. We did get the scoring underway early. Emiliano starting up front in this one, getting yet another goal. I think his sixth goal of the season already, but we conceded. A 93rd minute penalty. 
And that is how the game would end. Very frustrating to concede such a, such a late goal, really. But 1-0, not a terrible result, I guess. Form, as of late, has been fantastic. The first draw since we lost the opening game of the season in all competitions. It's going to be difficult to continue our unbeaten run today. Here is how we line up then against the Galacticos. I mean, it's a pretty similar 11, I think. Diamonde comes in for this one. Apart from that, I think it's the same team we started away at Salzburg. We're going to try and catch them on the counter, if we can, with Isaac Tanga's pace. Here we go then. The right to dream park is absolutely packed in non-COVID times in game. Things you love to see. Real Madrid not in the best form. I can see they've signed Jesus Corona. Apart from that, pretty much their standard 11 we know too well. Top of the group, you love to see it. Can't get enough of looking at that. So 20 minutes almost into this one. We've now reached 20 minutes. They've had all of the ball, 64%. Only just had their first shot. We're really controlling their attacking threat right now really well. Much better than I anticipated for sure. Literally, nothing is happening in this first half and I will take that. This is great from us defensively. So 41st minute, we finally get a highlight. I'm on extended highlights. This is the first time we've seen the game. Here we go. I think that's Corona on the right-hand side for Madrid. Very good dribbler of the ball. Fede Valverde, great player as well from Uruguay, I think. Puts the ball in. Hazard, who has picked up a little knock. He does get the rebounds. His first goal of the season. Really frustrating. We've really held them well until this point. Um, and yeah, I guess their quality pays off in the end just about. Let's see what happens here again. Valverde on the ball. I think he plays it back to Corona. Uh, Hazard just peels off his man. It's a good first block. Really unlucky from us, but a great finish. Now Madrid maybe have a chance of really putting us to the sword ahead of half time. This would be heartbreaking. Hazard again in behind. Vindal with a great save. He should have scored. So they only really got going right at the end of that half. We need to really create some chances now we're behind. Now here we go. Our first chance perhaps of the game. Jonathan, Eamon, Maz, Tycosin. Surreal to see our boys against this quality opposition. Diamante, Eamon has to score. And he does. Jonathan, Eamon, the American. I cannot believe we've done it. 1-0 at home to Real Madrid. The right to Dream Park is going absolutely crazy right now. It's in a frenzy. Tycosin gets the ball in. A decent ball as well. Diamonde heads it down. Eamon cannot miss. Let's go. But only a few minutes later, Cruz again with a corner for Real Madrid. Headed clear by Willetsi. Can we counter? Hazard does pick it up. So good with the ball at his feet, of course. We know that. You don't need me to tell you that. Um, but that knock could hamper him a little. Good tackle. Back to Max Valesi Jensen. We're playing it around pretty well here. Pretty confidently against the Galacticos. Emiliano uh, playing in the championship last season. Now in the Champions League groups. Looking great in midfield. Hardly even played for Brentford last, last season. Couldn't even get in the team. Um, but we have given the ball away there. I think Jensen was the culprit. We have Jesus Corona on the right-hand side. Well held up briefly by Kufods. Um, he does get the ball back. Intercepted very nicely. Up to Atanga. Ramos wins the header. But now Cruz into Corona. Cannot miss. Vindal with a great save. He was offside as uh, Vinny Jr. comes off Hazard. I watched him against Liverpool. He is very dangerous. But now we have a Real Madrid free kick headed clear. And now we counter with Kamaldine Sulemana leading the charge. He's quicker than Cruz. That is for sure. Kamaldine into Atanga. Oh my words. What a chance. That is what we are set up to do. Atanga just couldn't finish it. Now 57th minute. Very action-packed half so far. Cruz, not the best corner though. Benzema, back to Corona. Great shots and great goal. Nothing we can do about that. Jesus Corona, second goal of the season. And you can't stop that, I'm sorry. It was a poor corner. Benzema pulls it back. Corona, we closed him down pretty well, but... His shot is just too good. Unstoppable. 61st minute Corona has been so good today. Really the only signing they've made in this save. Gets the ball in. Headed clear. Camelzine. Can we counter again? Camelzine. Don't lose it there, please. And don't do that either. What are you doing? Camelzine Sulemana. It's a shocker. And we are we are punished right there. It's a shocker from Camelzine, I'm afraid. And Benzema scores the goal. 3-1. We're really struggling now. Do you get a corner though? 70th minute right here. Diamonde goes over to whip it in. Is it a good one? Not bad. But it's blocked. Courtois went flying there. That is jokes. But now Sadiq, the substitute on for Eamon. Scored recently. Can he contribute again? Right here. Back to Chukwani. Another substitute for us. I've also taken Camelzine off, as you can probably imagine, after that error 
of his. Benzema really isolated at the back. Chikwani, great ball to Andreas Bredal, who's come on. Can't finish though, Sadiq. Courtois gathers, so then 15 minutes to go right now. Vinny Jr. tries to turn his man. Tony Cruz on the ball. Real Madrid, they're just so good, aren't they? They're so, so good. The fact we've actually competed with them a little bit today is so promising for me. Varane on the ball. Casemiro, can they build anything again from the back? Erdegaard tries to go past Eric Cal um, in the left back role. Does well there, does Carl. Now Carvajal has so much space. We have to leave a few men further forward at this stage if we want to realistically try and come back rather than just hold the scoreline. I'd rather risk conceding a few more and try and somehow get back in this game uh, than just, you know, hold station and settle for a 3-1 loss. But now Vinny Jr. in behind, good block. 92nd minute, Bredal on the ball though in the Real Madrid half. Diamonde into my Sondes. Scores the goal, it's offside. Emiliano scores, it's offside. Could have been the start of an unreal, miraculous comeback. Not to be for us today though, I feel. I think this is going to be overturned. Let's see. And yes, it is disallowed. So we are pressing forward. We've run out of time though. 10 seconds to go in this one. Can we grab a late consolation? It will be. We can't. But a 3-1 loss at home to Real Madrid. I think we can be very proud of our performance today. That was a really good game. I mean, you can see by the XG 0 0.8 to 1.33. We have been far. We've really held our own today. That's for sure. So we currently sit third in the group. Not too bad. I will certainly take that after a couple games played. Obviously, we have... Man United at Old Trafford and then at the Right to Dream Park. I think we'll we'll play the Old Trafford game off camera perhaps and then come back for the home game against United and Mitchell Lands. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode though. That's for sure. I hope you enjoyed today. Make sure you smash that like button if you did enjoy. Drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And make sure you're following me over on Twitch. We have a Sparta save and some PCM content as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.